One topic that you've just read about is torque. Now, torque is a very high yield topic for MCAT testing. So let's break it down for you. Now, you can think of torque as a force analog. Whereas forces cause objects to translate, that is to move in a linear motion, torques cause objects to rotate. The point of rotation is known as the fulcrum. Now, you can think of the fulcrum and the lever arm as something that's quite familiar to us, something like a door and a hinge, or a seesaw and its support system. Now, the equation that governs torque is here for you. Tau, which is the Greek letter for T, is equal to R times F times the sine of the angle. Now let's break down this equation so that you understand each of the components. R is the lever arm distance. In other words, this is the distance between the application of the force and the point of rotation, the fulcrum. F is the magnitude of the force that's applied. And since we're taking the sine of the angle, this means that the only component of the force that's generating the torque is that component which is acting perpendicular to the lever arm itself. Now, this makes sense to us if we think about our everyday experiences. For example, if I want to close a door, it makes sense for me to push against the door itself rather than to push against the edge of the door. This, by pushing against the door itself, gives me an angle of 90 degrees. My force is being applied perpendicularly. And this generates maximum torque for the force that I'm applying. Now, we have here on the board a diagram of a wrench and a bolt. If I grab hold of the wrench and exert a force against the wrench, I can cause the bolt to rotate. And if I push on the wrench, at a distance as far as possible away from the bolt, I can generate as large of a torque as possible. Now, under certain circumstances, the vector sum of the torques will be zero. What this means is that the torques that are being applied on both sides of the point of rotation are equal but opposite. And this creates a situation known as rotational equilibrium. This is analogous to translational equilibrium where the vector sum of the forces is equal to zero. Now, in a situation of rotational equilibrium, the object itself may not be rotating since the vector sum of the torques is equal to zero. On the other hand, the object may be rotating, but it would rotate with a constant angular frequency. Again, because the vector sum of the torques is equal to zero. They are equal but opposite on either side of the point of rotation. So on test day, when you are confronted with a problem dealing with torque, think about doors and hinges, think about wrenches and bolts, and think about seesaws.